Hi, my name is Paul, and welcome to Physics High. Today, I'm going to give you a really quick overview of the concept of diffraction and Young's double slit experiment and how those two are connected. <music> Again, I have a video that I encourage you to have a look at, which goes into much greater detail. So this is just a very quick discussion on those concepts. First of all, let's look at diffraction. And when we look at diffraction and we have a series of wave fronts that are moving towards, let's say, some sort of boundary. So my wave is hitting in that direction and I have a boundary, let's say, that it looks like this. Then what happens is as the wave approaches that boundary, what we'll then get is that that wave now bends around that boundary. And that is the concept of diffraction, where waves basically go around a particular boundary. Now, why this is then connected to interference is because if my boundary is now two openings between, let's say, a wall, something like this, what we end up getting is my wave is approaching both of those holes and because it diffracts around those the holes here in the boundaries over here what we end up getting is we're going to get circular waves that are coming out of that particular aperture over here but we're getting also circular waves around that particular aperture like this and so what that means is what we end up is getting two sets of waves that are going around here and they're interfering with each other and we end up getting a series of constructive and destructive interference and of course diffraction here gives us the ability to have two sets of waves that are actually in sync with each other and so that leads us to Young's double slit experiment. So if we were to then look at this from a mathematical perspective, so we have a wave over here that has a particular wavelength and there's a certain distance here that separates the opening here and we call this the value of D, which is the distance between these two holes. If we were to then look at what happens over here, we would get a maximum over here at this particular point in here. They would always constructively interfere at this point. Now over here, you might also get a maximum because now we have a path difference of one wavelength. And so up here, you would get a maximum here as well. And so we say here is a max and here is the max. And what we end up getting here is a minimum. And so if I were to show this as a curve, as in intensity, we might get something that looks like this. It's not perfectly drawn, but you get the idea. Now, why am I drawing this as well? Now, all of a sudden, we have a whole series of measurements here that we can add to it. First of all, I have a distance here between these two peaks. And in this case, this is a, the maximum of m equal one because it's the first one where we have one wavelength difference. And over here, what we say is we have a distance here between these two peaks of y. Now, the screen in this case has a distance of L, how far it is from the screen. And so mathematically now, we have a number of variables which tie in. Now the video I discussed earlier goes into the mathematical relationship more deeply, but what it ends up being is that the mathematics ends up being M lambda is equal to D sine theta. Sine theta ends up being approximately equal to tan theta. So what we end up getting is D multiplied by basically the opposite over hypotenuse and you get y over l. Now what is m? Well m is the number of maximum we have and in this case we've got one. Lambda of course is the wavelength, d is the distance between the slit separation and y is the distance between the maximums and l is the length. Now this only works for really small angles. So for example this angle will be in like less than a degree and in fact once we get beyond five, six, seven degrees then this mathematical relationship starts to break down. But you can see that if we increase the wavelength then the distance here obviously will increase as well if we keep all things constant. Now that's an overview of diffraction and Young's double slit experiment. Please like, share and subscribe and put a comment down below if this has been helpful for you and consider buying me a coffee. The link is in the description below. My name is Paul, take care and bye for now.